This looks good. I think we'll hang out right here for a minute. And we're gonna get into these updates, guys. All right, so the day-night cycle is what we're gonna be getting in update number two, our first look at it. I'm gonna bring that over here so we can review each of the screenshots that Punch Packet has shared with us. So here's the look of a Hypsilophodon from a tree looking out over the map. And that is our first look at sunset. Or sunrise? I'm not really sure. But it is going to be gorgeous. You see here. Now this is just a look at, I think, just a swamp for the most part. Nothing too special about this one. This is probably just midday, you know, what we're used to in Evrima at this point. Now, take a look. Here we got the Carno, again, looking like sunset or sunrise. Let you guys check that out for a second. That is just gorgeous. I absolutely love it. It is very atmospheric. Sorry if you guys can hear the uh, the police sirens outside. Hold on, hold on. Ooh, ooh, nope, nope, nope. Don't you do that on me. All right. We'll play a little bit of aisle music for some uh, ambience. Yeah, guys, this update has got to be almost here at this point. I mean, they're they're adding things on to update number two, which bodes well in my book. I mean, we've got the Carno in game. The QA team has been testing it along with the Stego and Hipsy, and now they added added in the day night cycle. Here's a really good picture. I love this one. Oh, is this the highest res, res I can get of this? But that's a swamp at sunset. Yeah, how anyone could willingly return to Legacy after seeing all this stuff is really beyond me. Because, man, gorgeous stuff. I love the look of the night sky. You know, too often in these games, uh, you'll see uh, stars shining through the moon, but it does not look like that's what's happening here. So I'm hoping this update's gonna come this weekend. I really am. If not, we still only have just 10 days left in this month, and it does not appear that the dev team is slowing down at all or having much problems in terms of, uh, you know, bugs with the new dinos. Hey, Des Mori, thanks for the follow on Twitch. You guys just gotta check all this stuff out. It'll do so much for the presentation of Evrima for us to have the day-night cycle. And there's even some other stuff we get a hint at here. Um, this is all stuff, you know, just right around the famous, uh... <laughs> the famous BP rock. And let me see if I can get it here. Perfect, it's the next one. So this picture looks like... It's actually a view from very far away, maybe like a separate island to the main island. Because the picture we were just looking at had to be like somewhere over here on this section. So I'm not exactly sure how far away it is. Maybe it just comes around, but the environmental fog really adds a nice atmosphere to, to it as well. Old Town Road, do I like chicken nuggets? Of course I like chicken nuggets. This little puppo looks like a chicken nugget. <laughs> but anyway, 
So cool pictures all around, guys, but we're not even halfway through this stuff, I think. There is so much that Punch Packet and the other devs have been throwing our way. Here's a look at the Hypsilophodon hanging out in the tall grass. Yeah, guys, imagine if this kind of progress keeps up. Update number two is amazing. Imagine what they could do with update number three, where they're adding in the Dinosuchus, as well as the Pteranodon and the fishing mechanic. I bet if things go well, they might sneak some extra stuff into that update as well. Things could really be going much faster from here on out for Evrima. Here we got the Carno hanging out in the swampy woods. Yeah, please, please let me get this update this weekend. I'm dying to play the new Carno, the new Stego, and the Hypsilophodon, along with the new day-night cycle, which I'm sure will just be beautiful across the map. I can't help it, Stephen White. Blowing your mind with these screenshots. Ah, you gotta love that good lens flare. And look at that fog! Just hanging out over the lower parts of the map. That is so, so gorgeous. That's gonna lead, for, lead to some amazing screenshots and thumbnails. Yeah, I hope Night Vision won't be as like it is in Legacy, but as from what I understand with the devs, they, they're taking in a lot of community feedback, and they're doing the best they can when it comes to reworking Night Vision, which won't be present in update number two. The nighttime should be bright enough for us to see without it. Wondering if we get any more shots of the nighttime here. Ooh. Ooh, that is good. Oh, that's just breathtaking. I love it. Guys, guys, are you hyped? You gotta let me know. I am so excited for this. I mean, really, I think update number two is gonna be where everything takes off. I hope that they'll add storms in too as well soon. Um, I really do miss the good weather effects. I always felt like they added so much to the game, especially, especially the, the lightning storms. And then here is our last one. A look at the Hypsilophodon hanging out in the, the midday sun. That, that lens flare there again. But that's really it for all of our pictures of the day-night cycle, guys. You gotta let me know what you think. I'm super hyped. It's amazing they continue to just find ways to put more and more into this upcoming update. And I really hope that it's going to be dropping here when they said in November... Really hoping it could be even sooner, like maybe sometime this weekend. But we'll just have to pay attention to the IL official Discord and see what the devs are saying. Because right now they're just they're just throwing so much our way that I can't help but feel that they are are very close to being ready with this one. But all right, guys, thanks for watching this section of the stream. Always happy to go over the Isles Phase Two section with you. The devs love to tease us and spoil us with all this cool stuff. So stay tuned. We'll have tons more content in the coming days. I am sure.